Hello everyone, you're getting a bonus video today because I did not record yesterday because I didn't go to work yesterday because I was sick. Ugh. So the official temperature right now is negative one still and um, the winds are I believe negative 24. <laughs> So this is what we're dealing with in Wisconsin. Many people's cars did not start. I was lucky that my car started. Um, and it is after work now, Miss Judy. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Uh, Miss Judy forgot that she was leaving work early today for her other job, so it's just me. So, hello. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my fall. I really didn't talk about it too much this morning and then also getting sick. So um, I did fall, I took a really, really bad fall tumble on Friday after work. And my whole backside is bruised from my ass all the way down. Um, found that out yesterday as I was getting out of the shower and wondering why I had blue all over me. It's because I had bruise, bruising all over. I had bruising on my elbow my neck on this side is extremely stiff. I have bruising going all the way down my body on my right side. Um, I did something to my hip where I have pain in my hip and my left knee is popping a little bit, but what can you do? You know, I didn't break anything. Um, I figure that if I did break something, I wouldn't be able to walk and I don't have any pain when I'm walking. It's just when I get up and down. Um, so I figured I didn't break anything. Um, I just think that it's like deep tissue trauma to my body. So um, let's start driving here and get this car running a little bit. I just wanted to sit here for a little bit and let it run just so uh, it warmed up a little bit because you have to do that. Most of these side streets, you guys, are so icy. It's just like completely ice covered. I have about six inches of snow on top of my car right now, and I'm sliding all over the place as I'm driving. Um, basically, I know how to drive in this weather. I go super slow and take my time, and the key is to watch for other drivers because I don't worry about my own driving. I just worry about other people's. Like this guy in back of me right now is way, way too close to me. And he should be at least a car and a half length behind me, considering this road is completely ice covered. Anyway, so that happened to me on Friday and I kind of gave you guys a little bit of an update uh, when I did my I fell video. And then unfortunately, uh, we, you know, got the big snowstorm Friday night where we got 14 plus inches of snow. Uh, Saturday, I had to get up and shovel my car out so I could move it so the plows could come. And I was feeling very sore, but a little bit better. And I mean, my head, I wasn't really having any headaches at that point, so that was good. I have, like, where I hit my head was right here in the back. Um, but yeah, so I got up, I shoveled, did what I needed to do. I probably, sh with my head trauma, should not have been outside shoveling, um, but it needed to be done, and no one else was gonna be able to do it but me. And we were getting threatened with having our toes, or our toes, having our cars towed if we did not move them and get them out of the way. And I have had my car towed before in the past, so that would not have been good. Anyway, so everything was fine on uh, Saturday during the day. I had made a casserole, so my daughter and I had leftover casserole. Oh, this is all icy, whoo! Holy shit, man. So we had leftover casserole. Um, in the afternoon and then again we had leftover casserole like at 4 30 everything was going well and then at five o'clock I started noticing 
that I was not feeling well at all. I felt a little off and I'm like, what's going on? And by six o'clock I was vomiting and it was shooting out the other end. Now I was starting to get a little bit worried because I thought to myself, did I have a concussion? I wasn't having any other symptoms of a concussion. Whoa, with the exception, I'm sorry, there's like snow blowing on my window or on my windshield. Anyway, I didn't have any, um, any inkling that I had a concussion other than the vomiting. And I'm, and Miss Judy was sick um, the previous day with the same thing. She had vomiting, she had the poo-poos. So I'm thinking, okay, this must be some type of stomach bug. So chalked it up to that. And I was sick for about 24 hours. Within 12 hours after I got sick, my daughter got the same thing. So I knew it was not a concussion. Um, it was just the stomach flu. So dealt with that. Took off work yesterday because my stomach just wasn't good. Like even the thought of coffee made me a little bit nauseated. So I stayed home yesterday, went back to work today. Everything, you know, is good. And I'm feeling a lot better. When I did get to work today, I did notice a few things. I, I'm not dizzy or anything, but there is something that's off, definitely for sure. Um, I might have had a, a slight concussion, I'm thinking. Oh, what are these cars doing? Please slow down. Please just wait for me to go. Anyway, um, I notice that the light, I'm like sensitive to the light and it, it's almost like I feel like I have a hangover, but I don't drink. So like, I feel like this is maybe what a hangover would feel like, like loud noises, like are irritating to me. Um, bright lights are not good right now, but it could just be too because the sun is out and it's shining on the snow and it's making my eyes do crazy things. So I don't know. And I mean, I looked it up about, you know, with the concussion and things. Um, I have bruising on my elbow, pretty bad. Um, for the past two days, my right side of my neck hurt from the whiplash. And I woke up this morning and my neck does not hurt. It just feels a little stiff, but there's no pain like there was before. So I am doing better. Um, I took it nice and easy this morning on my way into work, walking wise, you know, Judy and I just took it super slow. I always get nervous with Judy too, because with her having her hip replacement, um, if she goes down, I don't know if, she, if Judy goes down, I'm dialing 911. I don't care where we are, what we're doing. If Judy goes down, I'm dialing 911 because with that hip, I just get so nervous with her. Um, but yeah, we walk, you know, super, super um, slow and just so cautious. Shit. I just noticed that I only have about a fourth of, a little over a fourth of a tank of gas left in my vehicle. I wonder if I should put more gas in just because of it being so cold. So it's supposed to be cold, what is today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then by Monday, see now this motherfucker is too close in back of me. By Monday, it is supposed to be in the 30s. So at least we have that. Um, but yeah, so that's like my update of everything. Other than that, today at work went pretty well. Like I said, I'm sore, but I'm feeling better. So all in all, I think, you know, I had pneumonia. I took a tumble and a fall and had, you know, slight brain whatever. I got the stomach flu. I don't know what else can happen for the week. I think we're done. I think I'm just done. I, I don't want any more bad news. I just want to be done. One good thing that did happen though, I must say that when I did have the stomach flu, I lost a ton of weight. So I'm pretty much back to where I started at my lowest while I was doing the shake it off with Angela. So I figured this is a prime time, beautiful time to continue that 
and to, you know, just cut back on the sugar, uh, cut back on the sweets, not actually go sugar free. I, you know, sugar free is definitely the way to go. Um, and you know, get in those healthy fats, uh, get in the greens and, Ooh, this is all just ice. It's just all glazed ice, shiny, shiny, shimmery ice. Oh my fucking God. Holy shit. Please baby Jesus. This is so bad. I am so nervous right now. It's almost better to like drive on the parts that are rough looking instead of driving on the parts that look smooth because at least the rough parts you have traction on your tires. That's why it's a little bumpy. Um, oh, this makes me so nervous. But like I said, if we can just get through today, tomorrow, this rest of this week, and get our asses on Monday, we will be good to go. I have I had an eye appointment yesterday. I don't know if I told you guys this or not. Um, I did cancel it because they said the highways are still ice covered. And um, I was, you know, thinking about going to my eye appointment with my mom. And I really just, I mean, I don't want her out either, but her battery went dead in her car. So she had to go to the, uh, the automotive place to see if it's her clicker her I don't know why she thought it would be her clicker that's crazy um it's definitely the battery but god you guys should I stop real quick and get gas I feel like I should just because I I mean I'm not low I'm like a little bit less than a half a gallon I'm in between that half a gallon and the fourth of a gallon I feel like I should fill up all the way although I don't feel like going outside and doing it but I feel like I should oh my god you guys I cannot feel my hands I did get gas so that was good oh oh my gosh I'll insert this into the video but right now uh, I am sitting on my hand trying to get it warm oh, so I can feel the steering wheel I was literally outside for less than five minutes with gloves on, which obviously these gloves are not like the best, but my eyes are watering. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay, I can finally move my hand now. Oh, if you don't know what to do, if you have cold hands, either put them under your ass or ladies, um, what I did yesterday is I took both of my hands and I know it's cold, but Take them and put them down your shirt and put them underneath your toddies or underneath your armpits because that does help. Okay, <sighs> and we're off. I wish there was a gas station around here that you didn't have to get out of your car and you could just fill up. I could just tip somebody to do it. But no, you have to do it yourself. Um, but yeah, maybe I will just to be on the safe side of everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with me, continuing to watch the Angela and Judy show. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, Judy and I got some sponsors. Um, so we might do that tomorrow, depending on where we are and how we are feeling. Judy's stomach, I could tell was still a little bit not good. Yes, I am going slow, sir. Oh God, here's a stop sign and now I'm freaking out or a stoplight. This is all just pure ice. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for continuing to support our channel and things of that nature. But don't forget to leave a thumbs up because it does help us out a lot. Don't forget to leave a comment. I love reading all of your comments and I do read all of your comments. Even if I have not hearted them or liked them, I still read all of them and I see all of them and I appreciate all of them. So with that being said, have a great rest of the day and stay safe.